faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God, right? So what does this mean, right? I've heard a few people say that, you know what? You know, believing isn't enough. Having faith, uh, it isn't enough. If I hear the word of God and I believe it, then I'm going to do what it says. As I heard a person say, uh, the Bible says you must be baptized in order to be saved. So if I hear the word of God and I believe it, if I have faith, then I'm going to do what it says and I'm going to be baptized to receive the Holy Spirit, right? What I want to do today, this is my goal. And I, I want to remind you guys, because I'm doing this from a, a very humble place, uh, nothing prideful. I'm no theologian. Uh, I'm no, uh, the, I'm not the world's greatest uh, apologetics when it comes down to the Bible, but I am a student of the word. And I believe that we should all aspire to be students of the word daily, getting to our word, right? Uh, you know, it's not about being super deep and, 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 you know, extra biblical revelation, but it's simply about studying the Bible, whether that's finding uh, uh, some good commentary Bibles or even a, um, a, um, a type of Bible, chronological Bible that gives you the historical context behind why the text was written. All these things help with, uh, you know, helping us to understand the scriptures more instead of reading them at face value. Right. So what does this mean that faith comes by hearing and hearing uh, the word of God? Right. As we see, this is in the book of Romans, who Paul's writing to Romans and in one specific verse. And I want you all to see this part. In uh, Romans 9, chapters, uh, verses 3 through 33, uh, Paul talks about how the uh, how the Jews were trying to, excuse me, chapter 10, chapter 10, the Jews were trying to obtain uh, righteousness. They were trying to obtain righteousness by works of the law. So they were trying to obtain righteousness by their own doings, by their own works, by their own efforts. But then we see here the Gentiles receive salvation by faith. I know a lot of people still disagree. Hey, faith isn't enough. Uh, you know, you can't just believe and say, I believe in Jesus, which I'm going, I'm going to get to that very quickly. I'm going to get to that very soon on why faith is enough and what is faith or what is believe actually mean in the Bible, right? But we see here again, the Jews try to obtain righteousness by their own works. And then the Gentiles receive it by faith, right? You have a lot of people in today's time there, they try to obtain the righteousness of God. They try to obtain salvation by their own efforts, whether that's them thinking that they have to do A, B, and A, B, C, and D, or many times people misuse the scriptures because of their background. So you have to do this. You have to be baptized in the name of Jesus. First, you have to be baptized until you're saved. Then you have to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Not only that, but you, uh, but you cannot receive the Holy Spirit unless you're baptized. So we see all these people coming up with all these different for of uh, not formations, all these different formalities, all these different um uh formulas to get saved, right? To receive salvation when it's strictly by faith alone, right? And then um I'm going to do another video on that by uh faith alone because Romans 10 talks about how we are justified by faith and faith alone, right? But again for right now is what does faith comes by hearing me right so let's let's get straight to it man right i'm using um my uh, wife's uh ipad so it says it is within this context that paul gives the reason for the israelites lack of salvation right namely they lack faith this is why they lack faith which is romans 9 and 32 and romans 10 and 4 the israelites are saved through faith in christ just like the Gentiles, again, I'm going to keep harping on this. We are saved by grace through faith alone, through faith alone, through Christ alone, nothing else, not faith plus works, not faith plus obedience to be saved, not to, you know, faith plus uh, works or faith plus obedience, you know, to receive salvation. We produce good works because we're saved. Uh, good fruit, good uh, works are the byproduct of salvation. As the Bible says, uh, God uh, has preordained works for, for us to already carry out. You get what I'm saying? We are his workmanship, okay? So, <clears throat> it says here, eternal salvation 
does not distinguish between Jew, Gentile, or Jew, but is received through belief in the person and the work of Jesus Christ. And I love to say this, it's not, it's not just believing, or oh, I just believe that Jesus is God. It's not just saying, oh, I believe that Jesus died and rose again, and you know, he died for my sins. Jesus Christ is the object of our faith. He's the object of our faith. That is what saves us. Just like if you go back to the Old Testament, we see that uh, Moses made this uh, staff with a snake around it, and that they looked upon this image, they would be saved. Now, here's the kicker. They didn't just, just they then they didn't just look upon the image to be saved, but they also believed God. They believed the Father that if I look upon this image that you told Moses to make, that I will be healed from this poison. In the same way, those who look upon Christ for salvation, look upon Christ for eternal life, look upon Christ for deliverance, to be free, to receive eternal life, guess what? They shall be, they shall be uh, spiritually made whole, spiritually, uh, spiritually healed, right? It's the same thing from Old Testament, New Testament. We see the gospel even in that part of the scriptures in the Old Testament, right? So in the leading up to the statement that faith comes by hearing, right, which is in Romans 10, 14 through 16, explains the requirements for a series of actions to take place. In order for one to call on the name of the Lord, he or she must believe. In order to believe, one must hear or receive the report, right? So for one to believe, they must hear what? The gospel, the word of Christ, right? In order for one to hear, another has to give the report. And that other won't give the report unless he or she is sent. So this isn't about, you know, uh, this isn't about more so of like, oh, if I believe the word of God and I'm going to do it. Now I do it. That's how I get saved. It's not what this is about, right? Paul continues in Romans 10 and 17 to summarize the argument thus far. So faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of God or some other translations by the word of Christ. Faith is translated from the Greek word pistis, which means belief, trust, confidence in someone or something. So understand this. We put our belief, our faith, our trust, our confidence, our conviction, we place that upon Christ, who is the object of our faith. This is what saves us. This is what saves us, right? Again, I'm not saying that, oh, I believe Jesus is God and he died for my sins. I'm saved now. That's not what I'm saying. You're placing your faith, your trust, your belief, your confidence into the object of Christ, of who he is and what he did. That is what saves us. I like to call this saving faith, not casual belief, not casual agreement, but saving faith. Saving faith is what justifies us. Understand this as well. The faith that we have, that we put in Christ Jesus is, is the Messiah, is not our faith because the faith that we have is a gift from God. The faith that we have from God is a gift, which results in saving faith. When we hear the gospel, it pricks our heart, which leads to godly sorrows for our sins, which leads to repentance, which leads to this renewed heart, which, uh, which leads to salvation, right? So, uh, like I said, it means piss, uh, uh, piss this faith, trust, belief, putting our confidence in something. It is key to it is key to the book of Romans and is used 40 times in the book. Three of those occurrences appearing in chapter 10. The verb form of the word is also used 21 times within the book and most often translated as believe. Right. Uh. If faith comes by hearing, sorry guys, if faith comes by hearing, then what does Paul mean by hearing? In this context, it is not it is not simply the physical receiving of sounds by the ear, as most English speakers would understand the term. Hearing seems to designate something more, the receiving or acceptance of a report. Note that the use of the word translated message in Romans 10 and 16, as Paul quotes Isaiah 53 and 1, Lord, who has believed our message? In Isaiah's day, the Lord had provided Israel with a message, but the prophet laments that few actually received it. So to believe isn't, again, not just agreeing. It's not what it means. But to believe is to receive the report, to receive the preaching of the good news, to receive the preaching of salvation, right? The hearing was not attached to simple sounds, but to a message or report given. 
In Romans 10, Paul makes the point that the good news has been given and the people of Israel have heard it. They heard it, right? This is in Romans 10 and 18. The people of Israel heard, <coughs> heard the report of the Lord. They heard the report. They heard the message. But just because they heard it doesn't mean they received it. You get what I'm saying? They heard it, but they didn't receive it. The nature of the gospel is a report, right? Uh, a report of, of God saving people from the wrath they deserve. In order to believe the report, one must receive the report. For one, this is like good news. You can only, uh, where is that? You can only believe the good news if you receive it. One who does not receive the good news cannot believe something, right? In order to believe the report, one must receive the report. Faith comes by hearing. It is not a guarantee that the report will result in faith, as Paul makes clear in Romans 10 and 16. For just as the Israelites refused to believe the message of Isaiah, every human today can refuse to believe the message of the gospel, right? The nature of hearing also does not require the physical act of hearing with an ear. The report simply needs to be received. For instance, someone could read the gospel through GodQuestions.org and receive it by faith without an audible word being spoken. As long as the message can be received fully, the medium does not affect the outcome. In first, uh, as, oh, excuse me, the content of the message must be the word about Christ. As Paul states in 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 5, the message is that Christ died for our sins according to scriptures and that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. This is the gospel, guys. And that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Faith that leads to eternal salvation comes after hearing. That is, after receiving this message concerning Christ. Amen. I'm hitting 12 minutes, guys. I don't know how long I have, but... This is in in whole context. This is what this means by faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. When you hear the word of God, you're receiving this good report. So don't anybody tell you, hey, believing is enough. It's not enough to just believe. It's not enough to just have faith. You know, don't let anybody tell you that uh, we're saved by grace through faith alone. This is exactly what the scripture says. This is what it tells us in Romans that the Gentiles were justified by faith. It tells us in the Old Testament that Abraham was justified by faith. It, it, it tells us that the Jews were trying to make their own way of salvation. They were very zealous for God. They loved God, but they were trying to create salvation by their own standard. And it says that the Gentiles were justified by faith. We see this in Ephesians where we are justified by grace through faith alone. When we put our faith, our hope, our trust, our confidence in Christ Jesus, because when we heard the message of the good news, when we heard the message of Jesus, when we heard the message of salvation and we received that message about Jesus Christ, guess what we did? We received the message and we believed it. When we believed it, it then turned into salvation and then it, it, it allowed us to receive the Holy Spirit. Understand there are many people who have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ, but they have not received the good news. But we also, it also says that the word of God has been spread out to the whole entire world through general revelation. By looking around, we can <coughs> we can see, excuse me, creation, how God of how God has created this world. You know, with the words that He has spoken. So even general revelation says that there is a God, that there is a Creator constantly present, has always been here. Amen. But yes, faith is enough. Faith in Jesus is enough. You don't have to do anything else to receive salvation. When you hear the message, the good news of Jesus Christ, the message of salvation that changes lives, that renews men, that, that, that causes the old man to die and brings about new life in an individual. When you believe in hearing that message and you receive it as truth, when you receive it as facts, when you receive it. As what the scripture tells us exactly what it is, the word of truth. When you receive that and you believe it, you are saved. You are eternally saved, sealed with the Holy Spirit until the day of redemption. As scripture tells us in the book of Ephesians, Paul said to the Ephesians, when you heard the word of truth, when you heard the good news and you believed it, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit, who is a, who is a down payment of our inheritance. 
the Holy Spirit is just a foretaste, a foretaste of what is to come in this next life. This, this is the word of truth, y'all. I want y'all to be encouraged. Never think that once I, I have to do faith plus this to get saved. It's only by faith in Christ Jesus alone that justifies us, that justifies us, that makes us righteous, that makes us not guilty before the Father, that no longer sees us as sinners, that, that completely uh, uh, wipes away our record, that expunges our record, that expunges our trespasses, that when we receive Christ Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior, we receive his perfect righteousness, not because we did something uh included with faith but because we simply believed and trusted and received him and received the message that was preached about him we received his clean record we received his righteousness because it's not about what you know it's about who you know and it's about the message that you have heard have you heard the true gospel have you heard the true word amen so i'm heading into 16 uh, 16 minutes guys i'm done I hope that this blesses all those who have wondered what this scripture means. I pray that this edifies the body and it blesses y'all immensely, man. Uh, I'm out of here. I'm about to enjoy the rest of my day. I love you guys, man. Take it easy. Peace.